Okay, we're going to go through step by step how to install on the graphics kit. First off, here's what you'll need. Get the instructions out of your graphics kit packaging and read them all the way through. Then, you'll need a hair dryer and extension cord. Make sure it's a hair dryer and not a heat gun. Heat guns can get too hot and potentially damage the graphics. You'll need methyl ethyl ketone, or MEK, to prep your plastics. You can pick this up at Home Depot, Paint Supply, or just about any hardware store. You'll also need a spray bottle with soapy water. Use about six drops of liquid dish soap and the rest water. A couple of clean towels. And it's not necessary, but a very helpful tool is a felt squeegee. We do have these available at our website. You definitely don't need a felt squeegee, but it will make your job a little easier and save you some time. Okay, let's get started. First off, remove any factory stickers from your bike's plastics where the graphics will be going. In most cases, they come right off with very little effort. But in other cases, it takes the blow dryer and a lot of work. After removing the factory stickers, we'll clean the plastics with methyl ethyl ketone. Now avoid contact to any hard plastic such as headlights and taillights. It will cause damage. Then spray the bike down with your spray bottle and wipe it off with a clean towel. Okay now, before we peel back the backing paper off the decal, we need to make sure we know where it's going. So at this point you might want to familiarize yourself with the pieces and the way the artwork lines up. We suggest starting with an easy piece so you can get a feel for how the material reacts and so forth. So find a smaller piece and spray down the area where it will be applied. Apply the decal and slide it around until you get it in place. Then starting at one end, push or squeegee out the water until the piece is firmly in place. Now, let's move on to something a little more challenging. A larger decal that goes onto a contoured piece of plastic. Spray down the area where the decal will be applied like before. You want to squeegee out the water from the center outward, little by little. This is where patience comes in. Notice how we're using the hair dryer not only to make the vinyl more pliable, but also to help dry the moisture underneath to speed up adhesion. If you get a piece on and decide you're not happy with the alignment or you have a bubble or two, you can just pull the piece back up and start over. Try to keep your fingers off the edges of the glue side of the decals. The key to the installation is to be patient and take your time. Plan on spending two to four hours installing your new graphics. When you're done, Go back and check for kinks or bubbles that may have reappeared. If you can't rub the bubbles out, you can use a sewing needle to remove them. Make sure you let it dry on its own for 48 hours. And avoid gas spillage when refueling because it will seep under the graphics and dissolve the adhesive.